In this follow-up interview with world-class pizza maker Jeff Smokovich, we discuss how much he has discovered about the pizza industry and also about himself. In the last interview I did with Jeff, we talked about how he was called out by a customer about a Sicilian pizza he made. I'll put a link to the previous interview here. Jeff is a master of pizza, including New York and Detroit styles. He's the owner of Brown Dog Pizza located in Telluride, Colorado, as well as Blue Pan Pizza located in Denver. Here's Jeff. Albert Grande here from pizzatherapy.com, legendsofpizza.com slash blog, talking to Jeff Smokovich of Brown Dog Pizza in Telluride, Colorado, and also uh, Blue Pan Pizza in Denver, two new pizzerias that he has going. But last time that I interviewed Jeff, we were talking about having a com customer come in and complain about not knowing how to make a Sicilian pizza. Yeah, and that was uh, right when I started out in the industry and it was a huge learning lesson for me when this customer came in and I totally botched the whole Sicilian and he called me out on it. So it was interesting because just about a month ago at my new pizzeria, Blue Pan Pizza in Denver, a similar thing happened and it was about the Detroit style. Well, now that I'm educated on Detroit style and I've been doing it for years now, and I'm not saying I know everything about Detroit style, but I've won a couple competitions, pizza competitions, doing the Detroit style. Okay. So, okay, I'm just if I can interrupt you, Jeff. Yeah. Tell us a little bit what is a Detroit style because a lot of people in the pizza world and don't know what a Detroit style is. Yeah, Detroit style is gaining fame. It's it's going across the nation now. I'm doing it in Colorado. Tony Gemignani, he's doing it in California. There's the Hunt brothers are doing it in Texas. But the, the easiest description that I'll tell you is it starts out like a Sicilian pizza. It's baked in a pan, special for Detroit style, but it's still we use an aluminum pan, but you can use a steel pan too. So we put the dough in it and we let the dough rise. We let the dough rise depending on the temperature and the humidity in the kitchen. It could be anywhere from one to three hours. After we let it rise, we put it into the oven for a par bake. But I might be losing you guys now because I'm going more technical. Why people keep coming back and back for Detroit style is the caramelized crust. The caramelized crust around the pan. So we use a, a cheese called aged white cheddar and brick cheese. And brick cheese is actually a cheese. It's not a brick of cheese. It's a style of cheese, brick cheese, and then mozzarella cheese. So we have three cheeses that we blend together. And before we par bake it, we put the aged white cheddar around the edge of the pan, and that starts the caramelized crust. We put it in for a par bake, bake it to about 70% baked, and then take it out. Then when we get a ticket for an actual pizza, now we're putting the other two cheeses on, which are the brick cheese and the mozzarella, any toppings that the customer, or if it's a specialty pizza that they ordered. And then the other key to Detroit too is the sauces on top. So we put red sauce, if there's red sauce on the pizza that the customer ordered, we would put it in two tire tracks going down the middle of the pizza. Two tire tracks going down the middle, or some operators may put little dollops, like little polka dots on it, and I do that with some styles and some people may go under the cheese with the sauce too. But authentic Detroit, if you go to Detroit and you have Buddies or Louis or Cloverleaf, they're gonna do tire tracks going down the middle. So I, I go three ways on it depending what style, what, what specialty pizza that the customer orders. But caramelized crust is the key for Detroit style pizza. And that's what people keep coming back and back and back for. And, it, and it, more than taking it farther than caramelized crust, is the corner pieces of Detroit style pizza. The corner piece is what people fight about in Detroit because there's only four corners on the pizza and usually there's a couple, four, if you get a large pizza from us, there's four pieces in the middle and then four corners. So you have eight pieces. Um, and I always tell people too that when I was a kid, we always used to order pizza in Detroit. And when we order pizza in Detroit, you just order pizza and it comes out square. We didn't, have, we didn't call it Detroit style pizza. Well, as I got older and got into the industry, we started using the term Detroit style pizza. But when we would order pizza as kids, me and my friends would order it. I have a younger sister that's seven years younger than me. She loves the corner pieces. And of course, me being the older brother, I got to tease the younger sister. So 
me and my friends, as soon as the pizza would come, we would take all the four corners out, and my sister would always get really upset, and she would go running upstairs crying. Sure. So, okay. <laughs> so before I rudely interrupted you, we're talking about this customer that comes in and starts complaining about the Detroit style pizza. Well, it was interesting. So about a month ago, I'm in Blue Pan Pizza, my pizzeria in Denver. I walk in, and I could, you could just feel something's a little bit off. And it was during it was. It was after lunch, so there was no one in the restaurant except for one table was full, and there was this bigger guy sitting at the table, and it looked and appeared to be sitting with his daughter. And I walked in, and I, I just felt something was a little bit off, so I walked right into the back, and my employee Kelly goes, "You got to go talk to this guy out front. He is nuts about Detroit-style pizza." And I go, oh, I, was, I, was, I think I was in a hurry. I had to catch a flight to Telluride. I was going somewhere. So I went in the back, talked to my kitchen guys, did what I had to do with them. And then I'm thinking about it. And I'm thinking, I'm ready to go talk to this guy. I don't care what he has to say about it. I know Detroit style pizza. So I go out and talk to this guy. And the first thing he says, where are you from? He wants to make sure that I'm from Detroit. <laughs> Just like New Yorkers, if you're making a New York style pizza, if you're not from New York and you're making New York style pizza, then they know way more than you. So he asks where I'm from, we go over that, and we start going in, and he goes, well, your pizza is not Detroit style pizza. So if it was 10 years ago and somebody said that to me, like this guy that I was talking about before in Brown Dog Pizza, talking about Sicilian pizza, and I was 20, early 20s at that time, I got really mad and threw him out of the restaurant. I learned a lesson. I learned a lesson this time. I wasn't going to throw the guy out of the restaurant because he said I wasn't making Detroit style pizza, even though I know. So I went into asking him questions of where did he grow up in Detroit and what pizzerias did he go to? And when we started having a conversation, he said, well, I grew up on Louie's Pizza. And if you know Louie's Pizza, I think it's in Hazel Park, Michigan or Ferndale, Michigan. I've been there a couple times. Louie's puts a lot of cheese and a lot of sauce on their pizza with and that's just the style of Detroit and everybody makes their pizza different people that go to Louis love it and for me in Detroit or in, in Colorado I'm not putting a lot of I'm doing a balance of the sauce and cheese and crust because that's what my customers prefer so he was he also the other funny thing that he brought up too I have a little tiny made in Detroit sign and the made in Detroit signs right behind where our POS's are and our slices and everything and he goes well, your made in Detroit sign isn't good enough. And he brings up a picture of a buddy's pizzeria in Detroit and they have this gigantic made in Detroit sign. And I go, what do you want me to, you're telling me you want me to copy off of buddies? No, I don't want you to copy off of buddies and get a big one, but they got a bigger sign than you. And I go, okay, this real, this conversation is not really going anywhere. So I said, you know what? I changed the whole thing and I go, I stood, I, I had him stand up, I shook his hand, I go, I love what you're doing, I love that you have a passion for pizza, because that's why you're here. He drove an hour with his daughter to come to Blue Pan Pizza to try our Detroit style. So just to take that out of your day to come and, and visit us there, I mean, I, I had respect for him right away for doing that. So, you know, I, can, I thanked him for coming in, and I actually bought him his pizza while he was there too. And having that experience earlier in my life, set me up for this experience that I just had last month. Otherwise, I probably would have made the wrong decision and that guy might not have lasted through his pizza. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's a great lesson in pizza and a great lesson in life, Jeff. I mean, I think you, you kind of matured a little bit. Is that what you're telling us? In pizza, I have. I don't know if I've matured in other things in my life, but in pizza, I try to. I try to learn more and more and more every time that I'm at something. that We're at Pizza Expo 2016 right now, and I mean, God, this is just like pizza on steroids here, and it's just fire hose of information when you're here, and it's the we look forward to it every year, this, and then when we go to Parma, Italy, too, and it's, they're back-to-back, -back, which is great. So, Okay, well... Jeff, thank you very much for educating us about Detroit-style pizza and what it really is and what it isn't. And so let's finish by telling people how they can come and sample your Detroit-style pizza at your two locations, Brown Dog Pizza in Telluride or Blue Pan Pizza in Denver. Well, Brown Dog Pizza is in the mountains in Telluride, Colorado, southwest Colorado. But I had one customer this winter who was in Telluride, Colorado skiing. They're from Philadelphia. They had, and to come from Philadelphia, you have to go through a town called Montrose, Colorado, which then you drive to Telluride, Colorado. 
So you usually go through Denver and then Montrose. So this family came to Brown Dog and they were there for a week. They said they came to Brown Dog four times for four dinners and seven nights. They love the Detroit style pizza so much. And then they heard that we were doing it in Denver too. So they canceled their flight from Montrose. They rented a car in Telluride. They drove to Denver, which is seven hours through the mountains. They came for lunch. They just showed up. I, I, I was there actually when they showed up too. That's why I, I, how I know this happened. They showed up, they got lunch, then they took the rental car to Denver airport and flew back to Philadelphia. So that shows the love that people have for Detroit style pizza, that they're willing to drive seven hours from Brown Dog having it the night before and they want to have it for a lunch the next day so they drive to Denver to have it. So Detroit style pizza is not a fad right now. It's what we grew up on. We all love it, the people that are from Detroit. And now we're trying to spread the word across the country. Okay, great. So people can sample that at Brown Dog Pizza in Telluride and Blue Pan Pizza in Denver. Jeff, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. Thanks for having me.